What up? John in the middle here. Critique part two. Here we go. Mm. Jacob Lawrence. The lovers. Dope. I'm not necessarily like, you know, the figures are broad, like, you know, simple. But the feeling is so present. I love the way the table looks, the the jaggedness in the design on the table, the bottles, the ashtray, the the diagonal slant on the couch, plant, the record box. It's also like, you know. It's so nice to see what the 1920s was like when you were home with that special someone. Yeah, I was just hanging out. And apparently this is what it was during Jacob Lawrence's time. And it still holds up. It's timeless. I love the texture in the the male figure's shirt and the female figure's blouse. That peach color. The hat. This texture in in the wall. Even the way the the that dresser with the plant, how that looks. It's not necessarily accurate in terms of perspective, but it doesn't need to be. It comes together with the whole piece so well. Jacob Lawrence, another titan of the Harlem Renaissance. Next piece. Ugh. And here's why. As an artist, like it's like as an artist, I look at this. And I know this face is smudged because this person cannot paint faces. <laughs> and it's just lame to me. It's just, uh, it just brings the whole piece down. Apparently they can't paint feet either because you don't see the toe. Moving on. The palette palette's really nice. However, I think I've seen this before. I think someone did their homework. <laughs> and that's great. It just looks recycled like I've seen this before. This looks it's, uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Moving on. Creative, but that's about it. Like what can you say? You didn't make this. You blew it up. You had the resource to blow this up. And you had the space to store it until you had to exhibit it. It's about class and money. Like you can't get this on the E train. <laughs> Rush hour. Like where do you even get this made? Resources. All I like when I look at this, all I think about is resources. And the resources it took to make that, and how much the resources like tower over creativity and talent. Even even as something that is creative, as I said earlier, it's still like this piece, in my opinion, is mostly a reflection of resources. You did this because you can. Moving on. Let it sink in. What the fuck is going on here? This is the epitome. Of why most people do not take the arts seriously. Who am I to say that this is not someone's art? I'm not here to say that. I'm here to say when people see this and it is associated in in title and practice and patronage with art and the arts, when this is connected or related to the term the arts in any way. It is impossible for regular everyday people to take the arts seriously. What the fuck is this? 
And it's just like, bro, like, do what you want. But how seriously are people supposed to take you? Like, do your thing. Who am I to tell you not to? It's just like, wow. This is really. I, and to me, personally, based on my research, this is all because of Ducamp. Ducamp was the first artist to take a regular everyday object and turn it into a spectacle via fine art. The man took a toilet bowl and put it in an exhibition. With that said, <laughs> that concludes part two. Like, comment, and share all that shit. Let me know what y'all think. Peace. I gotta go. Y'all bugging out.